हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिटेल्स अबाउट द लॉजिक गेट्स द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बुलियन लॉज देर आर मेनली सिक्स टाइप ऑफ बुलियन लॉज कम्पिटेटिव लॉ असोसिएटिव लॉ distributive law and laws or laws and inversion law let's see description of each law one by one the first is commutative law any binary operation which satisfies the following expression is referred to as commutative operation first one is a into b is equal to b into a and second is a plus b is equal to b plus a that means we know that a has the value 0 or a has the value 1 and b also has the value 0 and b is equal to 1 if we take the value of a is 0 and b is 1 then we get the case here a means 0 into b 1 is equal to b is 1 and a into 0 in both the cases we get the same result okay similarly here we can also put the values if a is 1 and b is 0 then we get 1 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 we get the same result 1 plus 1 this is known as the commutative law the next law is associative law this law states that the order in which the logic operations are performed is irrelevant as their effect is same first one is a into b into c is equal to a into b into in bracket c for example if a is 1 b is 0 and c is 1 then this result is also same as a is 1 b is 0 and c is 1 in both the cases we get the result 0 okay similarly we can prove that a plus b plus c is equal to a plus in bracket b plus c that means if a has the value 1 b has the value 0 and c has the value 1 then at the right side we also write a has the value 1 p is 0 and c is 1 in both the cases we get the same result 1 plus 1 okay i hope you all understand the associative law the third third one is distributive law this law states that a into into bracket b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c the fourth law is inversion law this is also known as the double inversion law or the double complement law this law states that the double inversion of a variable results into an original value itself that is a is equal to a double bar for example a has the value 0 then complement of a that means the complement of 0 is 1 again take the complement of 1 uh, sorry a hence we have to put or we have to take the complement of one here that means a double bar is equal to one's complement is 0 that means a equal to 0 and a double bar is also equal to 0 that means a quantity a double complement of any quantity is equal to its original value i hope you all understand okay now the next law is the and laws these laws use and operation therefore they are called as and laws the first one is a into 0 is equal to 0 we know that a has the value a equal to 0 or a equal to 1 if we put a equal to 0 in this equation we get 0 into 0 is equal to 0 okay 0 into 0 0 is equal to 0 or a equal to 1 that means 1 into 0 we get the result here 0 
in both the cases a equal to 0 and a equal to 1 we get the result 0 hence a into 0 results is 0 i hope you all understand now let's see the next condition the next law is a into 1 is equal to a we know that a has the value a equal to 0 or a equal to 1 okay if we put 0 into this equation then we get 0 into 1 is equal to 0 that means we put the value of a is 0 and the result is 0 if we put the value is 1 then 1 into 1 is 1 that means we put the value of a is 1 and we get the result 1 hence a into 1 is equal to a i hope you all understand the next rule is a into a is equal to 0 we know that a has the only two value a is equal to 0 or a equal to 1 if we put a equal to 0 then 0 into 0 the result is 0 okay the value is a itself and if we put a equal to 1 then we have to write 1 into 1 is 1 if we put a equal to 1 then the result is also 1 that means the result is a okay i hope you all understand the next rule is a into a bar is equal to 0 a has the value 0 or a has the value 1 then we are, we are going to put the values of a into a bar if a equal to 0 then a bar is equal to 1 if a equal to 1 then a bar equal to 0 then we have to write these values a into a bar that means 0 into 1 is equal to 0 we get the result here 0 again a is here 1 and a bar is 0 the result is 0 in both the cases we get the result 0 hence a into a bar is written as the result is 0 i hope you all understand and laws the next law is or laws this law uses or operation therefore they are called as or laws the first one is a plus 0 is equal to a we know that a has two values a is equal to 0 or a equal to 1 if we put 0 then we get the result 0 plus 0 is 0 we put a equal to 0 and we get the result 0 that means a itself hence we put a plus 0 is equal to a if we put a equal to 1 then we get the result 1 plus 0 the result is 1 here okay we put here a equal to 1 and get result a equal to 1 or the result is 1 that means this condition satisfies here a plus 0 is equal to a the next is a plus 1 is equal to 1 the values of a are a equal to 0 or a equal to 1 if we put the value of a is 0 then we get 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 okay if we put the value of a is 1 then 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 in both the cases we get the value 1 here okay hence a is a plus 1 is equal to 1 the next rule is a plus a is equal to 0 a equal to 0 or a equal to 1 a plus a that means 0 plus 0 we get 0 here and 1 plus 1 we get 1 here that means whatever we put the value of a the result is itself a is equal to 1 gets the result 1 okay that means a plus a is equal to a and the last one is a plus a bar is equal to 1 if we put a is equal to 0 and a equal to 1 then in the case of a is equal to 0 the value of a bar is 1 that means complement of 0 is 1 in case of a is equal to 1 the value of a bar is equal to 0 okay then a plus a bar that means 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 we get the result 1 in the same cases a plus a bar means 1 plus 0 we get the result 1 in both the cases we get the result 1 hence we write here a plus a bar is equal to 
वन आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द लॉज लेट सी वंस अगेन द कम्यूटेटिव लॉ ए इंटू बी इज इक्वल टू बी इंटू ए एंड ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू बी प्लस ए द एसोसिएटिव लॉ इज इन ब्रैकेट ए इंटू बी इंटू सी इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू इन ब्रैकेट बी इंटू सी एंड इन ब्रैकेट ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस इन ब्रैकेट बी प्लस सी द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ स्टेट दैट ए इंटू इन ब्रैकेट बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू बी प्लस ए इंटू सी द एंड लॉ स्टेट दैट ए इंटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए इंटू वन इज ए ए इंटू ए इज ए एंड ए इंटू ए बार इज जीरो द और लॉ स्टेट दैट ए इंटू जीरो इज ए a plus one is one, a plus a is a, and a plus a bar is one. The inversion law states that a double bar is equal to a. There are some other important laws such as a plus b c is equal to in bracket a plus b in, into in second bracket a plus c. The second law is a bar plus a b is equal to a bar plus b. The next law is a bar plus a b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar the next law is a plus a b is equal to a the next law is a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b okay now let's see the very important theorem here the de morgan's theorem there are two statements of the de morgan's theorem the statement first is the de morgan's first theorem state that the complement of the sum is equal to the product of the complement that means a plus b bar is equal to a bar into b bar this is the de morgan's first theorem okay a plus b bar that means nor gate is equal to a bar into b bar here a bar into b bar shown by this diagram this diagram also shows a bar into b bar i hope you all understand the de morgan's first theorem the de morgan first theorem is complement the de morgan first theorem is complement of the sum is equal to product of the complement and the second theorem is the de morgan second theorem states that the complement of the product is equal to the sum of complement here is the complement of the product that means the complement of the product is equal to the sum of the complement that means a into b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar a into b bar that means it is nand gate is equal to a bar plus b bar here is a the not gate converted then we get the complement of a a bar similarly if we place a not gate then we get b bar and here is or gate which gives the addition of this two input that means a bar plus b bar or we can write this is like this this bubble symbol represents the not gate i hope you all understand the de morgan's theorem let's see once again the de morgan's first theorem states that the de morgan's first theorem states that the complement of the sum the complement of the sum is equal to the product of the complement and the de morgan's second theorem states that the complement of the product is equal to the sum of the complement okay let's see the proof of this theorem we obtain this proof of this theorem by using the truth table method this is the truth table of the de morgan's first theorem the de morgan's first theorem is a plus b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar that means complement of the sum is equal to the product of the complements let's see the truth table a and b the have the possible values 0 0 0 1 10 and 1 1 then we get here a plus b bar p bar means here first of all if we add this then we get the result 0 plus 0 the result is 0 and complement of 0 is 1 again here 0 plus 1 is 1 and complement of 1 is 0 here is 1 plus 0 is 1 and complement of 1 is 0 here is 1 plus 1 is 1 
and complement of 1 is 0 that means we get here a plus b bar as 1 0 0 0 ok now let's see the next part or the RHS a bar hence we simply complement this a to obtain a bar that means complement of 0 is 1 complement of 0 is 1 complement of 1 is 0 this complement of 1 is 0 similarly we can obtain the complement of b as complement of 0 is 1 complement of 1 is 0 complement of 0 is 1 and complement of 1 is 0 now here we have to make product of it that means 1 into 1 is equal to 1 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 and 0 into 0 is 0 this is the LHS and this is the RHS the truth table of the LHS is 1000 and the truth table of the RHS is also 1000 hence by using the truth table method LHS is equal to RHS hence the statement first complement of the sum is equal to product of the complements is verified or proved here now let's see the proof of de morgan's theorem second complement of the product is equal to sum of the complement the a and b have the possible values 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 now we get here a into b bar hence first of all we have to make a into b that means 0 into 0 we get the result 0 here and complement of the 0 is 1 here 0 into 1 is 0 and complement of 0 is 1 1 into 0 is 0 and complement of this 0 is 1 here is 1 into 1 is 1 and this complement of 1 is 0 we get here a into b bar is 1 1 1 0 ok now let's find the complement of a bar uh, complement of a that means the complement of 0 is 1 this complement of 0 is 1 complement of 1 is 0 complement of 1 is 0 now find the complement of b such as complement of 0 is 1 complement of 1 is 0 complement of 0 is 1 and the complement of 1 is 0 now in this table or in this column we have to add these two columns okay that means 1 plus 1 the result is 1 1 plus 0 the result is 1 0 plus 1 the result is 1 and 0 plus 0 the result is 0 this is the LHS of this equation and this is the RHS of the equation this column shows the truth table of the LHS and this column shows the truth table of the RHS the truth table of the LHS is 1110 and the truth table of the RHS is 1110 the truth table of the LHS and RHS is same hence LHS is equal to RHS hence the de Morgan's second theorem complement of the product is equal to the sum of complement is verified ok I hope you all understand all the boolean laws and the de morgan's theorem thank you